Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. If there is an issue, a problem, how do you solve it? Well, you look at the issue in an objective way, analyze it, right? You gather the information in an objective way that is relevant to the issue. You analyze it, and then you reach a conclusion, and then you find a solution. Well, that's uh, the way we should do it if we really want to solve a, an issue. United States of America claims, I'm talking about these guys in charge of us, that there is a problem um, with US troops and Iran. And uh, I don't think they really want to solve the issue. I think they want to create a new issue based on, on a uh, faulty analysis of the current issue created by again if we want to solve an issue we have to analyze it objectively let me show you the issue the issue is at least 45 u.s servicemen may have been injured in iran linked attacks were they attacked in oregon were they attacked in california maine massachusetts texas no they were not attacked on the U.S. territory where the troops should be. They are attacked somewhere else. So let's see where that happened. More than twice as many U.S. servicemen may have been injured in recent attacks in Iraq and Syria than the Pentagon previously disclosed. U.S. defense officials said on Monday at least 45 Americans are reporting minor injuries or potential traumatic brain injuries. Now, look at this. Look at this. So, uh, more than twice. Now, I made a video on the top one, October 25, 2023, and it was titled U.S. military bases under attack. At least 30 U.S. personnel wounded by drone attacks in Syria and Iraq. In this video, I claimed that I'm pretty sure that more people than we are told were hurt, but we're not told. Anyway, second thing, why were they attacked in Iraq and Syria? Is there a war in Iraq? Is there a war in Syria that you know of? Well, why are US troops in Iraq since we always already won, we brought democracy, we brought freedom, then you go home. When Putin said that the American troops seem to never leave, well, they left Afghanistan with a tail between their legs. However you want to turn it, that's what happened. Now, it's okay, the Soviets left as well, the same way. Uh, but with the help of the Americans, and not only. Now, this time the Americans left because the Afghanis were helped by nobody. All right, so what are they doing in Iraq and Syria? If you want to solve the issue, what would you do? You have two up, two up, maybe more than about three options. One, you destroy everybody. Well, that's not going to happen, right? I mean, I mean, like flatten everything out. That's not going to happen. Secondly, you win. <laughs> but how do you win? Well, you just get the fuck out. Or then the second option, the win, is to stay over there. Why do you stay over there in Syria and Iraq? Is it because they have oil? I don't think so. Anyway, it says that the military is monitoring approximately two dozen service members who may have suffered traumatic brain injuries during the attacks, which are believed to have been carried out by groups with links to Iran. Which are believed, according to US defense officials. What they want to do is to attack Iran. That's the goal. So they don't want to solve the issue of those troops being hurt by someone in those areas. They want that to be a pretext, among others, to attack Iran in the name of the name that must not be uttered. All right. So uh, that's what it is. I don't know if those guys were uh, linked to, to Iran, 
And if there were, how come they operate in Syria and Iraq? Remember, Iraq, we liberated Iraq. How come those operate over there in the free, independent, democratic Iraq? How? That's one. That means you didn't win shit yet. <laughs> that was not a goal anyway. The, the goal was to get something over there or someone else. And then in, in Syria, what are you doing in Syria? If there will be no U.S. servicemen in Syria, nobody will attack anybody over there. I'm talking about Americans. If there would be no Americans in Iraq, which they shouldn't be, or in Syria, nobody would attack them. Attack them. Like, for instance, you have in France or United States of America, you know, if you wouldn't have this thing here, these riots would not occur. These demonstrations with pro-Palestine or pro-Israel or against Israel, against Palestine or Hamas exist in these countries for two main reasons. You have a certain kind of population here, or two. And then you have the other ones who now are turning around. How is that? The chicken come back home to roost? That's exactly what happens with the liberals. Now it's liberals versus liberals. There are some idiots over there who think that, uh, you know, at uh, all costs, uh, that little thing should be helped because Jesus Christ was this. And okay, we leave those guys uh, to the side. Okay, that's what I think, because those, those guys really think in an, in an Armageddon. So for them, I attended uh, certain kind of institutions many times, and they uh, always have signs that we're getting closer to that time. And I guarantee you, that's what's going on in Israel. If I step in those institutions right now. I would hear that there's the sign. All right, these are the signs. So give me money somehow. For what? I don't know. But it's always like this. I attended many, many congregations because I wanted to know, I wanted to understand. <laughs> uh, I hope you do the same way and you go outside and figure out who's who, what's what. Anyway, in this case, solve the problem. What are you doing in Syria? Independent sovereign country? The government, the legitimate government of Syria did not invite you there. Get out. You are an occupying force. And in the meantime, you are stealing their oil. Now, you're not only occupying, but you're also depleting the country. You're, you're a thief. The other one in Iraq, you're out. What are you doing in Iraq? Mission accomplished, if I remember that idiot, George W. Bush on that uh, uh, warship. Remember, mission accomplished? Get out. What are you doing there? Oh, oil? Oh, okay. Oh, is that, did you bring democracy and freedom? Okay, now go home. If you need to defend freedom and democracy with troops, that means there's no freedom and democracy. That means there's a certain kind of culture that really rejects your freedom and democracy. Or you want to impose something on a country, on a culture that doesn't want that. Not all of them. And then what? With a gun, you try to impose that? Well, that's not how freedom works, does it? And democracy. So why don't you take your little shit out of Iraq and Syria and your servicemen will not die over there being attacked by bad people. And they will take care of themselves over there. Why do you care? And regarding Iran, well, Iran is the prize. We'll see if these guys dare to frame Iran in order to attack them. We'll see. I don't think so because the Russians are strong and the Russians will intervene and probably China as well. So my friends, Thank you very much for being with me again today. These guys don't want to solve the problem. These guys want to create another problem, bigger problem, bigger prize. That's what I think. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.